Okay, I'd like to talk about supplements, okay? Are they wasted money? Are they just junk? Well, in my honest opinion, I believe that the majority of supplements out there that people are taking are absolute crap. I think if people want to get nutrients, they should get them from Whole Foods. Because when you get a nutrient from a Whole Food, it's not isolated. You're getting everything that's actually in that food, okay? So, the reason that I like D Health Store, okay, this hair, skin, nails formula, is because every single ingredient in here is an herb. See, MSM sulfur, faux tea, kelp. And notice that in this, it doesn't show any numbers. It doesn't say 500 milligrams, 2 milligrams, or whatever. It's just list food, okay? The name of the herb. That's all this is, okay? They took a bunch of herbs, they ground them up, and they put them into a vegetable capsule. That's good nutrition. That's from a whole food. You're getting everything that's in faux tea. You're getting everything that's in uh, kelp. You're getting everything that's in rose hips. You're not getting anything isolated from the rose hip. You're not getting anything isolated um, from kelp. You're getting the actual plant along with anything else that was in there. So it'd be like me going outside and picking up dandelions, right? Or some other plant, chopping it all up or whatever, and then putting it into a capsule and then swallowing it. Now that's a good formula. That's a good supplement. When you can buy something that just has the name of the plant, there's no numbers. Because think about it, guys. You got different all these supplements, right? You got, say, vitamin C that says 500 milligrams. But yet, I can pick up an orange. How much vitamin C do I know is in that orange? Yeah, you can go on uh, certain websites like Nutrition Data and it can kind of give you a breakdown of how much vitamin C in, that, in, that, in an orange, a general idea, but it doesn't give you the exact amount of vitamin C that's in that orange. There's no way of knowing. And people eat oranges and apples and other foods, and they aren't stressing about, oh, I wonder if I got 500 milligrams. I wonder if I got 20 milligrams. I wonder if I got 10 milligrams. I wonder if I got 2 milligrams. No, they're just simply eating the food and believing that it's good for them. In the same respect, we shouldn't be so concerned about how many milligrams or whatever is in something. Just simply eat the whole food and get the nutrients. You know, nutrition doesn't have to be so complicated. Health doesn't have to be so complicated. You just eat the whole food and you get everything that's in it. Right? When you see apples and, and bananas and oranges growing on trees or carrots growing out of the ground or potatoes, is there numbers written on them saying, I have 500 milligrams of vitamin C or I have 10 milligrams of protein, or I have this many calories, or I have this many of that, and I'm this many blah 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 blah. Of course not. There's no numbers on any of this stuff. They just grow out of the ground and you eat it. You know, are the animals, con are the animals thinking to themselves, hmm, I'm not going to eat this, um, you know, food, because it doesn't have as much protein in it as that food. And does the monkey say to himself, well, I'm not going to eat that banana because this banana has more potassium than that banana. So that banana is inferior. Of course not. So, you know, this whole thing about <coughs> putting numbers next to ingredients, you know, and then, of course, you got all the extra stuff that they add to a lot of supplements, like the fillers, magnesium stearate, um, you know, stabilizers, uh, silicone dioxide, I mean, titanium dioxide, there's just all kinds of stuff that they add more to supplement. That's not even food. You don't want that in your body. So bottom line is, most of these supplements and things that people are taking are absolute crap. Like, the thing for calcium, just eat natural foods, like vegetables, You'll get the natural calcium in them. Does anybody wonder, well, I wonder how much calcium is in broccoli. I wonder how much calcium is in kale. I wonder how much calcium is in spinach. No. And do people ever worry about osteoporosis? No. 
So now people have to make they have to do studies. They have to put a certain amount of calcium in their products. They have to have a certain balance. It's, they're trying to mimic what nature's already done. If people just simply ate the natural whole foods, they would get everything that their body needs. They don't need to rely on specific numbers. It's insane. If people just ate herbs, you know, and special foods like vegetables and stuff, they would get the calcium that they need for their healthy bones. They wouldn't have to say, oh, I am kale and I have 200 milligrams of calcium. No. You know, like this almond. This is an almond. I can't find anywhere on this almond where it says, I have X amount of protein, I have X amount of this nutrient, I have X amount of that nutrient. It's just an almond. That's all it is. It's an almond. And we eat it. So, you know, there are some good products out there, though. They actually do just have whole foods. For example, this is a vitamin mineral earth. And you know what it has? Astralgus root, burdock root, nettle root, marshmallow root, yacone root, dandelion root, carrot, ginger, rhubarb root, red clover <laughs> blossoms. It's got all these whole foods. It doesn't have anything milligrams next to them or any special numbers. It just lists whole foods. And it's ground up into a powder that you add to water. That's all this stuff is. It's just whole food. So this is something that's actually a whole food. Here's another one. You know, it's a Fibrozone product. The only thing that's in it are whole foods. Psyllium husk, hibiscus flower, licorice root, fenugreek seed, flax seed, boldo leaf, slippery elm bark, oat fiber, uno de gato bark, artichoke leaf, camu camu seed. They're all whole foods. No special numbers or anything next to them. So this is a good, another good example of an actual whole food. So they've just taken a bunch of different powerful plants that contain natural medicine, ground them all up, made a powder out of it, and then you take it that way. Just like people a long time ago did. So, you know, the thing is, if you guys want nutrients, then say no to synthetic vitamins. Okay? Just say no to synthetic vitamins and processed foods. And look to herbs. Right? Look to herbs and natural foods for your vitamins your minerals, your nutrients, and everything that you need. Not only will you save a ton of money, but you won't be doing an experiment on your body either by taking in things that you don't know what might happen to you. You know. So, that's what I feel about it, and um, I think most people would be better off if they just used herbs and natural health foods. I mean, that's what's so great about, like, Mountain Rose Herbs. You know, that company sells actual herbs. You can make tea out of them. You can, turn, you know, make your own um, herbal capsules. You know, because you, you're actually taking in herbs, and you're getting nutrients from those herbs. It's nothing isolated. It's not synthetic. It's not something that was grown with yeast or anything weird like that. It was actually grown from the earth, right? And so that's where people should get their nutrition from, right? So they should get it from whole foods and herbs.